Yes, Daniel. Well, what do you say at the end of that game? You've been put through it there, have you not? Yes, I'm pretty proud uh, of the lads. It was obviously difficult for, for many of them. It was the third game within six days because most of them played even uh, for the countries on Tuesday or like Junior even uh, on Wednesday. Um, we had many, many uh, problems today. Glenn Kamara played, although he had a cold and, and even temperature in the last days. But we are a bit thin of central midfielders at the moment. And same also Sam Barrow, he told me at halftime, boss, I can't sprint anymore. Yes, but the only option was Jamie Shackleton, who is also coming from injury, more or less, and hasn't played since since ages. Um, I told Sam, OK, 80% have to be enough in the second half. Um, so And and we digged in and didn't lose the nerves against a really good, uh, really good Hull side. We had many problems in the in the first half, but uh, especially when you have such a di busy and crazy schedule, you have to dig in to grind out results. This is what we did. We didn't lose our nerves. We didn't open the spaces in order to invite them for counterattacks. They've had really good results, especially against the top teams, yeah, because once you lose the nerves against uh, this Hull side, um, it's it's really tricky, and we didn't lose uh, this really good second half, and in the end, in a tight game against a really good opponent, I think it will deserve a win. Yeah, it was those quality players that Leeds have, who displayed again resilience, but the ability to do something a little bit different that helped win the game, was that right? Yes, obviously we have players who can make things happen and, and uh, let their quality shine, but uh, I think we create also more than enough chances. I had a look on the on the expected goal statistic. I think we had six times the amount of, of what Hull did. Uh, we allowed them more possession uh, in the first half. We wanted to do this because um, it's always a side who wants to... to invite the opponent into traps and if you go into the trap you can see this is what they did against uh, the top sides and we didn't want to do this so for that we wanted to allow them a bit more possession in areas where it didn't hurt our problem was yeah, we were not that great in possession we lost the ball also mm. a bit a bit too quick and then it was a bit the devil circle in the first half it was important not to lose the nerves in the second half to step a bit up in, in the quality in our possession was a bit more aggressive to win more duels individual duels we did and create then chances and I think to be honest, we missed also big, big chances uh, for such a difficult uh, game. I'm pretty pleased that we are then able to, to use a penalty. And obviously then once they opened everything, then the third goal of, of Daniel James, uh, good for the confidence of my offensive players. We started well, didn't we? We started extremely yeah. well. But after that, you're right, we lost our way with the passing. And Hull, they kept the ball extremely well, but didn't have any end product. I think that's the difference. We have got that end product and had to step up in the second half. They have many, many really good uh, really good footballers. And uh, after we missed them, the big chance to score, go 2-0 in lead and to bury the game. Um, they played with confidence and with freedom. They wanted to have the ball. And um, if you then sacrifice your centre back, send them forward, open the space in behind. They use then the, the, the pace and the quality of Logine or their wingers and uh, uh, we didn't want to go into this trap. For that we allowed them to have more possession in areas where it didn't hurt us. But obviously you also want to have the ball and, and uh, if you then give the ball that quick away mm -hmm. Sometimes you can lose the nerves and, and, and press in situations where there is no chance to press. Obviously, we want to have the ball, also our supporters want to have the ball. It was important right now to um, then not to lose the nerves and to do the same what all the other top teams uh, did against them. And uh, for that, I had to calm the nerves a bit down at, at halftime, spoke about a few things. And uh, overall, especially in possession, it was a much better second half in the end than really well deserved win. How does it work out when the two games have been played prior to your game? So the ones you're chasing have already got their game out of the way. Is anybody taking any notice of that? You're keeping everybody away from all of that? Yes, we try to keep them away, but uh, they're all <laughs> uh, mature people. So uh, obviously they they are not stupid and they realize also what happens. It's never easy yeah, when the, the results don't go in your favor and you feel perhaps even a bit extra pressure. This made the, the topic today also uh, also a bit, a bit difficult. And then it's important to focus them on the tasks, to focus them on the contents, to be not over-emotional, over-motivated. Yeah, in this spirit of the of the season, you have to dig in and you have to play pragmatical and grind out results. It's, this is what we did also in a... Under these circumstances, with so many problems, many key players out, many players with problems on the pitch, also with a with a proper performance against a really good side. Again, many compliments to Hull, um, but I'm I'm even more pleased with our maturity today. And uh, yes, important and priceless. Daniel, who is the penalty taker? <laughs> <laughs> it was today uh, really really <laughs> difficult again because Cree was uh, was uh, on the paper, and we had um, a name I don't tell you because he didn't. Uh, take it. He was on the pitch as a second one, 
but normally whenever Joel Perot comes in, he is then the first guy. The problem is, I don't like it when a player is just 30 seconds on the pitch and had more or less no touch then to overtake it. Yeah. For that, there was a bit of uh, confusion. Um, in the end, he scored and uh, it's definitely good. Very good. Good. Doesn't matter who takes them as long as they <laughs> score them. That's the ultimate outcome. Daniel, great win. Thank yeah, you very much. Thank you very much. On to the next one.